the rhythm of the wildlife here dances to a captivating melody, whispering the secrets of the bushveld. In this sanctuary, your eyes resonate with the depths of your heart, breathing new life into weary souls, and momentarily shielding you from faults of home as you embark on this enriching sojourn. And on the left is a herd of buffalo. Here we've got the rock monitor and also the water monitor. <laughs> Thank you.
when there's heavy rains the water barrels sometimes cave in because of all the water and mud and obviously there's a lot of water dying that way This morning we are in a different area. Um, yesterday we, we had a good day in the felt. We saw quite a bit of uh, game, but we didn't shoot anything. It's now about six o'clock, so we're early, early in the felt. It's a sandy area, so uh, we're just gonna walk towards the sun. This morning there's no wind, so uh, we can walk in any direction. Three large red other beast pools this morning. 
and um, we had a good stock on them. But uh, where we where we stood in the grass was really tall, and of all these bushes, we couldn't get we couldn't get a shot in. But we had them about 30 meters, and uh, one bull I wanted to take, big big bull, his horns flanged open at, at the back. Um, we only saw his horns, couldn't get a shot in, and it took off. But tracking them now, we're going to take the whole morning, so I'm just going to keep on walking in a different um, direction and uh, try to find the red other bees or maybe water buck.
Hope you guys. Very old. Very old beast bull. Beautiful trophy. So I just shot my ultimate red hearted beast trophy. Uh, I passed quite a few bulls the last three days. Um, and this morning we were in a felt early and we actually bumped into three solitary bulls quite early this morning. And there was a bull um, that we uh, was standing about 30 meters away. He was a big bull. Uh, I wanted to shoot him, but we couldn't. Um, there was no shot on his vitals because of all the bushes and the tall grass. Then they got spooked and they ran off, we left them and we kept on going. We were in the field about three hours, um, got quite warm and then um, we spotted this bachelor herd, about five, six, I think, um, red other beast bulls in this bachelor herd. And um, the first one was the biggest one, um, leading the herd. So we stalked them and they were actually walking towards us. But unfortunately, with all these uh, rebels leaves on the ground, uh, he heard us, he stopped, looked at us, and he snorted, left, and he went into the bushes, in the, into the thickets. Um, and the other bulls behind him, they also got startled, ran off a little bit, stopped for a while. And, um, you know, I saw these, this bull, and I wanted to take him, but he was in the thickets, and the other bulls gave me an opportunity, but I didn't really want to shoot one of them. And then curiosity got better of this bull. He came back um, out of the thickets and he walked into a clearing and then stopped. And it was a second or two and uh, I, uh, I shot him. He only went about 30 meters and he expired. So um, I'm really happy. Uh, like I said, this is my ultimate Red Hot Beast bull. It's a beautiful trophy, um, well into Rome, Wharton, SCI. It's exactly what I wanted. I shot quite a bit of red hearted beast in the past uh, in Namibia and South Africa, but uh, this bull uh, ticks all the bo boxes. Um, it's my, it's my absolute ultimate red hearted beast trophy. So we're back at camp, uh, we quickly got to the, the other beast, uh, we're going to prepare a uh, brunch this morning with the liver, the kidneys, uh, the heart and also um, what we call in Afrikaans the fed darm, it's the intestines, but we're not going to make a puff order, we're just going to grill it on the open coals and also the heart, we're going to slice it like, like steak. And grill it on the fire and in the liver and the kidneys we're going to create a traditional liver and kidney dish that we used to do in the mornings uh, for brunch usually when we hunt
Mooi, dankie lieve heren vir vandag. Dankie vir die rooie arbeers vir oogend lieve heren en dankie vir die voedsel. Dankie vir ons beskerm het en dankie vir die samen zijn. Ons vraag vir jyseblief om hierdie voedsel ook in ons lichaam te sien. In Jesus' naam. Amen. Amen.